Hi, welcome to your home school. Okay, this is your next session of your exercise 1.3 Arithmetic Progression NCRT CBSC same syllabus. And here, last session we have ended up up to 11th problem. Now we are going to continue our 12th problem. Okay, look here children, what is your 12th problem? Find the sum of the first 40 positive integers divisible by 6. So, what do we feel that? Uh, first 40 positive integers, immediately you go on writing all the positive integers, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, look here. Let's write here. First 40 positive 1, sum of right 2, 3. Like this we go on writing, there is a habit. But we will forget to read the next point. Okay, you should be very careful. First 40 positive integers which are divisible by 6. Means are these first 40? No. Okay. In these integers, which are the uh, numbers which are divisible by 6. Okay. I hope everybody knows 6 table, right? So now, uh, for 5, 6. Let's write it here. 6. 6, 2, sir. 12. Okay. 6, 3, sir. 18 so on okay you should never take like this okay children uh, make your mind to understand carefully first 40 positive integers your mind will say first 1 2 3 4 but not this there is a condition the numbers which are divisible by 6 okay so the this is your series right you should not consider this one if you want you can clean it up or just leave this okay next 6 12 18 how many you need to find children 40 so you are, you are going to end up with a 40 but it is not the term value there are 40 terms okay so now let's start numbering a1, a2, a3. So whatever we need to calculate, we know. What we know? We need to find first a, first term and common difference d. Okay. So a1 is equal to a is equal to 6. Now common difference d is equal to a2 minus a1 that is 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. I got A, I got D. Now I need to calculate not A40. We don't want A40 term. Sum of 40 terms we need there. So sum of 40 terms means what children here? S40. So S40 is equal to question mark. We need to calculate right. By the way what is your SN formula? Did you forget your SN formula? What is your SN? SN is equal to? n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. S 40 is equal to 40 by 2. n value is 40 now. 40 by 2 into 2 into a value is 6 and your n value is 40 minus 1 d value is 6. Okay. 40 by 2 is how much? 20, 20 into 6, 2, sir, 12 plus 40 minus 1 will be 39. Okay, then again, so 20 into 12 plus, okay, what is this one? Uh, 6, 9, sir, 54. Okay, so keep your 5, 6, 3, sir, 18, 18 plus 5. 23. Okay. So now 20 into add these two children here. Uh, what it will be? 6, 4, 2, 46. Finally, multiply these two here. 0. Okay. 6, 2, so 12, 4, 2, so 8, 9, so 4. Therefore, sum of 40 integers which are divisible by 6 is equal to 4920. 
okay is this clear children like this anything you can find divisible by 5 divisible by 2 divisible by 3 so what happens there that the sequence will be changed according to the sequence asked you can find this okay okay look at children 13th problem find the sum of the first 15 multiples of 8 look here sum of the what sum here find the sum of the 15 multiples of 8 so like this how many terms are there here 15 terms are there understand the question carefully therefore the number of terms is equal to 15 15 multiples of 8 means 8 multiples so let's see here 8 8 twos are 16. Then again, 8 threes are so on. Okay, like this up to 15 multiples of 8 you have to write and then add up all those. That means your sum of 15 terms which are multiples of 8. Okay, so let's start writing here. A1, A2, A3, so on. Okay, so first we need to find anything. We should find A and T, right? A1 is equal to A is equal to 8. And what's your common difference? A2 minus A1. That will be 16 minus 8. That is equal to 8. Okay, children. Now, what is your question? S15 is equal to question mark. Okay, SN formula n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. So, s 15 is equal to 15 by 2 into 2a. 2 into 8 plus 15 minus 1 into 8. What's the d value 8? No? So, I have written here. 15 by 2 into 2, 8 is 16 plus 14 into 8. Okay. So now, 15 by 2 into 16 plus. Okay. What is this one? 112. Okay. Um, then add these two children. 15 by 2 into uh, what it will be 128. So look over here. It will be cancel. 2, 6, uh, 12. 2, 4, uh, 8. So here again 15 into 64. Let's multiply here. 64 into 15. Look here. 5, 4, uh, 20. Okay. 5, 6, uh, how much? 30, 30 plus 2, 32. 64 once, 64. 0, 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. So finally your answer is 960. What is this 960 children? Therefore, sum of 15 terms which are multiples of 8 is equal to 960. Okay? Okay, look here children. Uh, 14th problem. Find the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 50. So look here children. Odd numbers. Odd numbers means you know odd numbers right? Which are not divisible by 2. So what are odd numbers here? I will write 1, 3, 5, 7, so on. Find the sum of the odd numbers between so listen the word carefully here between between means you should not include these two numbers okay middle numbers we have to take between 0 and 50 okay achha. anyhow it will be starting from one odd numbers right so from here to there is an end point before problem there is no end right but now there is an end and 40. Between these terms, sum only you have to add and give the answer. But what is the end number? 
50 is it divisible by uh, 2? It is divisible, right? So it is an even number. So what will be the back number, backward number 49? 49 is not divisible by 2. It is, uh, so it is called as an odd number. So plus 49. So now understand the problem here, children. From here to here, you need to add. But how many numbers? Which is this number? Don't know. So, first step, you need to find which number, which term is 49, you should calculate. What is its n value if you are able to find? That many numbers are there, uh, odd numbers between 0 and 50. Finally, add some of that numbers will give you your answer. Okay, let's start here quickly. So, now, A1, A2, a3, A4, so on up to An. Okay, so which is that term is your first target. Okay, so now first A and D will calculate. A1 is equal to, A is equal to 1. Common difference D is equal to A2 minus A1. That will be 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Now, Given an is equal to 49. What is your an formula? An is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. An value is how much children? 49. A value is 1. And your n don't know. n minus 1 d value is 2. Okay. So 49 is equal to 1 plus 2 into n. 2n minus 2 into 1 minus 2. 49 is equal to 1 minus 2 will be how much? Minus 1. So minus 1 bring this side. 49 plus 1 is equal to 2n. 49 plus 1 will be 50. 50 is equal to 2n. n is equal to 50 by 2. That will be 25. Therefore, n is equal to 25. Is the problem completed? No, not at all. So, what is this 25 children? There are 25 odd numbers between 0 and 50. So, what is this sum of 25 terms is your question. Okay, let's start here. What is this? You know first term and your last term. So, you can go with this formula. Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. How many terms are there children? 25 terms. S25 is equal to 25 by 2 into a value is 1, l value is 49. That will be 25 by 2 into 49 plus 1 will be 50. Cancel to 25 sir. 25, 25s so are what it is? 625. Therefore, sum of 25 odd numbers which are in between 0 and 50 is 625. Okay, children, I hope you have followed this. So, similar pattern, there will be many questions uh, which they may ask in your exams. Okay, so let's change this question. Uh, find the sum of odd numbers from 0 to 50. From or I'll say 1 to 49. Uh, find the sum of odd numbers from 1 to 49. At that moment, you have to include 1 and 49. Suppose if I change the question again. Uh, find the odd numbers between 1 and 49. Between 1 and 49. We should not include 1 or 49. We should skip these two terms and then we have to write the remaining terms. And then go on same process. Same manner, they may ask you what is the sum of even numbers. Or they may ask you what is the sum of uh, all natural numbers. These are all questions. The same method you can proceed. But please never by heart any problem. Try to understand the problem, then your problems are very easy and mathematics is also a very easy subject. 
right with this we are going to end up our session in our next session we are going to continue the next problems thank you children